Thank you very much for being invited. We are very honored that we are able now to present our international research project in such a manner. Um, good evening and welcome to all and special welcome to the colleagues and students who participated in the program we are presenting. My name is Michaela Köhler. I am a communication designer and I am professor at the Hochschule für Kommunikation und Gestaltung in Stuttgart. Um, this is a private state approved University of Applied Sciences situated in Stuttgart and in Ulm. We offer study programs in communication and design since winter semester 2014. In 2019, we started the International Trends and Interdisciplinary Project together, Communication and Design for Intercultural Understanding. And the project was funded by the Ministry of Science, Research and Art in Baden-Württemberg for three years. Almost all professors and students from both campuses of the HFKG participated in the program. Uh, we are very happy, which uh, which I want to introduce, or who I wanted to, to introduce now, that we could win Dr. Adam Gould from the University of Page, who is with us, and Professor Vladimir Freely from the Academy of Arts in Osijek as cooperation partners. I just want to 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 to, to say some words about our about our concept and about our project we did, and then we light um, to the to the to the walkthrough of our presentation the project was based on an innovative innovative teaching concept for intercultural understanding especially with the new region design thinking and design processes formed the basis for the method methodological approaches four of the workshops were held in ulm patch stuttgart and osiek and uh, we we used several methods of um, like these of um, design processes like design thinking but also we did um we did research about uh, with um auto ethnographic styles we did visual diaries lookbooks pathways and stuff like this but you will see it further on um you want to say when corona emerged in 2020 we had we had a problem because uh, at the beginning we were held these workshops in these in these four um, cities uh, in presence and then we decided the yes the experiment uh, to go on and to continue the program in online workshops and what started as um, uh, I can say what started as an ex as an experiment um, developed to a concept. Corona also confronted us with the question and challenge of how to publish the documentation and results of our research workshops and above all, make them possible to experience. And a design graduate of the HFKG, one of our first design graduates, Oliver Fritz, who meanwhile leads a research lab in the field of VR, brought the solution. With the help of a virtual tour, we combined analog and digital representations. The virtual tour also includes the possibility of integrating interactive elements such as video sequences, audio sounds or animations. And now I give the, the ball, I throw the ball <laughs> to Florian. Okay, thank you very much. Um, my name is Florian Moser. I'm a researcher at Recom. Um, we here are a company that is doing a lot of image processing or working in the fields of images for the last 30 years. We were one of the first studios who did actually digital image processing on slides that were digitized and we are using all kinds of different mythologies to digitize images, whether they are artificial today or whether they are real made. Um, as you all know, during the current crisis, a lot of the ways for artists or galleries have become very difficult to show the, the results of their work because most of the exhibitions have to be closed, all the museums had to shut down. So we uh, tried a lot of ways to help them and one of the ways we tried to help them was digital exhibitions. Um, this is, I will show you now, we go into the exhibition. This is mainly viewed well, just a poor reflection of a real exhibition. Sorry, but... this is wrong uh, screen. You're sharing yourself. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
Let's try this again. <laughs> okay, now it's better? Yes, absolutely. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yes. <laughs> so, um, the main way uh, of a digitalized uh, exhibition is a walkthrough of an exhibition. So, you can walk through it. And this is, at first, not a real substitute for a real exhibition, but um, over the time and during the crisis, lots of new formats have emerged out of this. We have some uh, curators now who are leading like private tours during exhibitions. Um, things that were normally not possible are now doable. Um, for the concluding exhibition to the Together project, uh, Michaela Köhler um, approached us uh, since, as she told you, Oliver Fritz, one of her students, is working with us and we're doing this. And we got together with the students and the, um, of the different projects to talk how we can manage to create an exhibition and to create a format that is working in this or during these difficult times. Um, we came up with this way to create kind of a hybrid way of an exhibition. Um, since the project was about bringing different teams from different universities together, we tried to layer the exhibitions to be able to work on it from different locations. First, there is the real regular exhibition that you see right here, which is at the exhibition room in the HFK Stuttgart. It was built up and then we scanned it using a combination of 3D scanning and 360 degrees images. From there on, the students took this digitalized um, exhibition as a canvas to reinsert um, media elements like movies, um, which you can see now. or in other ways, some illustrative works. I'm just going to show a little bit of it. And um, that was created after the exhibition um, to accompany, in this case, um, the model of the planning for a bridge that the students designed during one of the workshops. Um, now um, that the digitalized um, projects are done, we are trying to work together with the students to reinsert some of the digital elements later into the real or let's say in place exhibition in Stuttgart. But some of the elements are going to be there for um, the digital version only. Um, together with the students, we also tri uh, try to create some elements that are new to digital exhibitions so we try that are not possible to replicate as you might see um, the light of the exhibition is changing quite a lot and this actually uh, is connected to meaning because we wanted to show different connections between the elements so you can see where important stuff uh, connects to where you are right now oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> sorry the, to tell a story during the um, during the uh, during the, uh, the exhibition. So now I would like to give over to Adam, and I will walk through the exhibition for you to show it a little bit more. Okay, right. Thank you very much, and hello everyone. Uh, my name is Adam Gould. I'm a professor at the University of Page and I work for the Department of Communication and Media Studies. I'm a communication expert and a media researcher. In my very short presentation, I would like to address some of the difficulties that we had to face during this um, online project. Uh, as we have talked about it, the implementation of the workshop in PAGE planned for the spring of 2020 was dragged through by the COVID-19 pandemic and the subsequent quarantine and isolation. 
In my opinion, in this environment, cultural differences had minor relevance because we were going through the very same situation. Our problems, fears and anxieties were very much the same. From this point of view, the pandemic produced a very strange setting where cultural differences were overshadowed by the common and shared experience of disruption. We found that students with different personalities could cope with the problem on a different level. Young people who identified themselves as introverted initially experienced this period as heaven. They argued that the confinement gave them the opportunity to do jobs and tasks that they didn't have the time for before. And the lack of personal encounters and company was not a huge problem for them. In contrast, youngsters who have extroverted personalities experienced serious discomfort as early as a few weeks after the quarantine had started. In their case, virtual encounters and programs could not trigger the experiences provided by personal meetings. During the quarantine, many inconveniences were expressed by the participants. In addition to connection difficulties and technical troubles, one of the most common problems was the so-called always on mode, which means that students were supposed to be in a constant standby status all day long. In connection with this, we could mention a whole list of negative effects caused by the constant use of media. Here we can think of monotony, media overuse, dysfunctional behavior such as obesity due to the lack of physical movement, mood swings due to confinement, and failure to perform tasks and duties. Many students had problems with sleeping, so insomnia was another typical experience of the participants. In conclusion, the results suggest that although technology has helped us and solved many problems during the quarantine research, at the current state of technology, online learning or work cannot yet fully replace personal presence and meetings in real time and real space. Okay, and now I throw the board back to <laughs> who? <laughs> Normally, our colleague Sarah um, Dorkenwald would be with us, but she's fixed in the um, S-Bahn in Berlin. <laughs> so we have a little time over. Vladimir, would you please say something to our um, cooperation? Okay, then müssen wir Vladimir. Okay, we have our colleague from the Art Academy of Osijek with us, but he has difficulties with the um, university. Ah, yes. Ah, Can you heard me? Yes. yes. I, I don't have camera. Camera is uh, uh, is damaged, or I don't know what's happened. Uh, till t today was everything okay. But uh, uh, I send a lot of reg uh, regards from uh, from Ljubljana. I have uh, tonight opening, and uh, I'm glad to to be min minimal with the sound, and I can see you. Uh, and uh, what is uh, what I can send, say for our experience that was uh, fantastic, and uh, I think. Uh, uh, this presentation, this uh, 3D presentation of exhibition is uh, uh, something uh, I, I, uh, something very, 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 very go uh, good uh, and very, very uh, uh, good to do it, uh, I think. Uh, and uh, yes, this is, uh, this is what I can say. I, th this experience was uh, nice for my students. Uh, we was... Uh, one time in the in in Stuttgart and Stuttgart students was one time in Osik and uh, uh, I think that this uh, some kind of just begin I we, we I can say we just start with something like this and uh, 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 we can uh, take uh, take this uh, uh, kind of idea in many different uh, directions what can uh, uh, 
uh, what can connect us between uh, uh, different studies, different uh, countries, and also different uh, uh, cultures. Uh, of, uh, but uh, this is one culture, but uh, with spe special uh, little di difference. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, thank you very much for your words and for being with us. Ah, uh, Sarah, she's there, fortunately. So uh, we went through the walk. Pro probably, Florian, you could uh, just <laughs> uh, walk through uh, last time. The, the, the question is, um, uh, do you have questions, the audience? I've seen there are many of our students. Welcome to all of them. Uh, are there any questions about the audience, about our project? <coughs> Ah, genau. Uh, Florian, do you want to answer? Could you explore a bit one of the technical backgrounds? Okay, yes, sure. Um, we did this, uh, the regular scanning was done. Um, <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, the regular scanning was done using uh, the Metaport um, software and camera. And then we added some, um, we used that scanning as a background and we have a different, uh, like our own layer we use to put the media on top because the software uh, from Metapod themselves is really quite limited in the way of media functionality. So we have an in-house tool we use to um, integrate that a little bit nicer and give a few more opportunities. But the technical background actually is a camera a camera that does 360 degree shots and uses a point projector to create like a rough 2D model to position themselves in the space and to create the 360 spheres next to each other. Oh, uh, could you please help me? I don't understand the, the next uh, question. Ah, you can request more. What is, this, what is this question from the technic, uh, technical team? If you want to say anything or want to present your presentation, as you said, uh, Michaela, and there are many students here, uh, please feel free to request for broadcast that we can bring you on the panel. Just that uh, we talk okay. about. Mm -hmm. So, are there further questions of the audience? Please feel free to, to, to ask. Um, are you interested probably in, in, the, in the content or what we did or how we, we, we've been working with it? Do you want to, to see some more of the, um, of the pictures or videos or, or um, animations we did? Probably this could be interesting, uh, Florian. We have... Sure. You know. So there is a sound. So in the beginning of the in the beginning of our um, we had or probably um, you could you could um, add something, um, Dara, because you are with us now. Mm -hmm. We use this flip box because in the in the beginning of our workshops we we did this uh, flaneur style to experience the identity and we let the students uh, go or walk through the cities on their own just to be beware of what they are what, of the findings or be, being beware of the other country this was the starting point so we have we have uh, different uh, results we have results of these um, of these online workshops and we have also a lot of results of working together. And we did also um, two different, um, we had two different methods and uh, probably that um, Sarah could, could add uh, the, the method of the colleagues from Ulm. Um, uh, yes, sure, I can do that. So, um, hello, <laughs> <laughs> sorry for my delay. Um, so um, 
äh, in, ähm, I'm, I'm a professor in, äh, in, at the Hochschule für Communication um, and uh, Kommunikation and Gestaltung in Ulm. And we did um, three workshops, one also with Adam and Vladimir. And uh, we um, approached or we used actually the um, design thinking process um, in order to find human centered and social relevant solutions um, to those uh, intercultural problems. Um, and the, the interesting thing about the design thinking process is that it, it's a human centered process. Um, and uh, Uh, for creative problem solving um, and it's quite nice because it, it, it gives a nice uh, it gives a nice frame for an interdisciplinary and intercultural process um, and that's what we were interested in um, so even students who are not trained as designers use um, creative tools to address a vast range of, of challenges. Um, so in the beginning, it's all about um, to understand and um, to ask questions um, to get the uh, a right, to get an understanding about the certain uh, topics or problems related to it. Um, and um, so we, we used different um, research methods um, um, to start this process of understanding. And once we got a better idea, the students did formulate like their own point of view um, to the certain um, topic. And, and then at, in the next steps, um, like the following days, they uh, actually started based on this kind of definition um, to create um, ideas or concepts um, for certain um, social relevant solutions. So that's basically kind of um, the frame we gave um, this kind of design thinking process within this frame the students uh, could undergo this um, certain process to, to create uh, or to, to get in a certain approach and um, um, uh, in-depth understanding and create a dialogue um, within this interdisciplinary um, um, working together. And now we have a very, very uh, thank you very much, Sarah, because we have a very interesting question now um, from um, Mrs. Carpet. Can you describe the design process, please? How long did it take to come up with the concepts of the exhibition? It was really complex <laughs> we've been working uh, on the on the workshops for two years we uh we uh, when corona emerged um we 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 have a size for länger we prolonged we, pro uh, we prolonged the workshops for a half a year because um yes it was all of a sudden um another situation and um We have several forms of design processes. We had these these workshops had a duration of one week, and there we started with um, with research with several research programs. For example, a pre-task like doing visual diaries or doing interviews, things like this. And then we have an active phase where the students are working in their groups together for one week, and um, Then we did it in the, um, that's right, we, we did all these things you are seeing now, some of them we did in the, in the workshops uh, itself, in the, uh, on the, you know, the, these ones, for example, probably you could stick on the uh, video of the portraits, uh, Florian, to show it. This was made in the, in the workshop ex uh, itself, in the first workshop with um, Vladimir. And um, uh, in the last month of, of yes, in the last month uh, we did it in August, we did this animation, but the result was made in one week. But others, uh, they were, they've been made in one semester, for example, the flip books, uh, the editorial design, yes, you know. 
So um, it was a real complex thing. And uh, we did it for the exhibition. We, we did it for uh, three for three months. So it's really complicated. Some things are yes. Some things were made in the in the process of one week, and others uh, in the process of three months. Okay. Um, other questions? Okay, I don't think so. But there are still oh, thanks. Yes. Uh, could you please give us a little bit of feedback because uh, it's a preview we do, and you can you can go to all these uh, to 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 the um, exhibition to the hybrid exhibition. We had the chance to um, to present it in the in the creative call, so you can go through it by yourself and discover these little things. And we haven't already finished yet. We will we will open uh, the the exhibition on the nineteenth. So it's a hybrid. We have it in our in our. Um, it's called the. Yes, in the. Um, Thomas, could you please help? I lost the word. <laughs> what do you want to say? Uh, uh, we have the hybrid e exhibition, and we 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 want uh, we will um, open it on nineteenth of November. And now this is a preview, but you can go through in the creative call. There is this um, yes, and it's the first time that we show it to the audience. And uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> we we would be interested in your feedback because uh, today it's a preview. We haven't shown it to anybody else before. <laughs> Outstanding one. <laughs> okay. So thank you very much. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> okay. So uh, feel free to go through and uh, thank you very much. <laughs>